Right, some time ago I did a video on how to remove a stuck chuck on the Myford ML7 lathe and I showed in that video that you can actually use these um, BOA strap wrenches on the gear in here to actually uh, stop the spindle and use a spanner or whatever on the actual chuck um, to undo it. And that method was fairly good, but no matter how careful you are with these boa straps, even if you put a piece of leather between the teeth of the gear and the rubber, um, you always end up slipping and these get chewed up and you have to replace them or replace this rubber part. So I thought of another good idea, which eliminates having to use this um, boa strap, but is much more effective for locking the spindle. So if you're new to using these Myford lathes, you'll find that after um, parting off or whatever, the chuck um, sticks on the actual mandrel, tight on the thread. I did used to use a piece of card, um, like a card washer in between the chuck and the spindle mandrel at one time to stop the um, chuck from sticking. And that was quite effective, but I found that it did introduce run out on my um, lathe chucks. And like I said before, you mustn't engage this back gear to lock the spindle because you can actually strip the um, brass or bronze teeth on the gear. And I looked at my brother's um, Super 7 lathe the other day and he's got a locking pin mechanism at the back here um, to actually lock the spindle. But I don't know how much um, force it would take before that would bend. And I think this method here will actually work on that lathe as well. So the other day I was parting off some two inch stainless steel on this lathe and the chuck locked solid on there. I tried to use a strap branch and slipped several times, chewed up the rubber and thought, well, I'm going to have another look at this and see if there's something more effective. And I thought of making use of the head of this Allen bolt here. This is the um, Allen bolt which um, you in disengage the um, teeth from the gear for when using the back gear. And um, as long as this is nice and tight, you can actually use this one with this tool that I have made. This is made out of a piece of dense PVC. It's 70 millimeter long and I've turned it down to about um, 15 millimeter in diameter on the main part. The lower part here is um, about 19 millimeter in diameter, although that doesn't matter. I've um, put a recess in the underside here and that drops down onto the um, Allen bolt, which actually holds the headstock onto the lathe. And I've shaped it, um, this side here flat, and this bit um, milled off a bit here. And all you do is put it down onto the Allen bolt head, uh, bring it up to the side of the um, gear here, and bring round the Allen bolt head on top of that to lock the spindle. And I've been parting off with this lathe today and I haven't taken the chuck off um, since. Hold the chuck in position so it holds it on the um, PVC. Put a large adjustable spanner on the um, jaw there. And every time it will actually release the chuck. And I've had no problem since at all in removing a chuck. And after making it, at first I sprayed it red so that I would see it clearly in there and remember to take it out. And then I found this nice bright green cable tie which actually hangs out from the front and stops me from dropping the guard and trying to start the machine with it still in there. And the cable tie acts as a nice little handle to actually drop it into the headstock onto the Allen bolt below. 
and I did buy a pneumatic impact wrench for using on a piece of hexagon held in the jaws and using this method as well but so far I haven't had to use it and after making this and seeing how effective it is, I've actually come to the conclusion with the ML7 that it's not actually a stuck chuck 90% of the time, it's just a tight chuck. The problem has been in actually locking the spindle to remove the chuck. And being PVC, um, it actually won't damage the Allen bolt at all. It gets a bit chewed up on the top here. But you can actually face this one off again or you can actually just make a new one up very quickly and like i say i'm pretty sure that it would actually work on the um super seven as well i've looked at my brothers and there's a lever mechanism here which is um really the same thing it's just a lever rather than the, the allen bolt and um i reckon as long as that one's tightened up like this one you could actually put one of these in there and remove a stuck chuck like that and there's a photo of my brother's super 7 lathe and there's the lever mechanism and I reckon if you put the PVC on the diameter of that lever as long as it's in its locked position um, I reckon it will work exactly the same So to put the chuck back on the um, spindle mandrel of the Myford ML7 to lock the spindle uh, for actually screwing the chuck on because it's um, quite a heavy chuck sometimes when you um, go to screw the chuck on the spindle will turn I pull the lever up into the um, drive position which locks the spindle I clean the threads with an old clean towel which I buy from charity shops or wherever and an airline and that gets all the dirt out of the um, threads and I give the um, spindle thread a good dose of clean thick engine oil and then carefully screw the chuck on And whenever you're changing chucks, it's always best to actually cover the ways up with a nice piece of plywood. <laughs> 